Flight 90 of the North American X-15 was a test flight conducted by NASA and the U.S. Air Force in 1963. It was the first of two X-15 missions that reached space, along with Flight 91 the next month. The X-15 was flown by Joseph A. Walker, who flew both X-15 space flights. Topic Crew. Topic Mission Parameters. Mass, 15,195 kg fueled, 6,577 kg burnout, 6,260 kg landed. Maximum altitude, 106.01 km. Range, 534 km. Burn time, 84.6 seconds. Mach 5. 50. Launch vehicle, NB-52B Bomber number 008. Topic mission highlights maximum speed 5,971 km per hour. Maximum altitude 106,010 m. 80 cm diameter balloon towed on 30 m line to measure air density. First X-15 flight over 100 km, a height known as the Kármán line. This made Walker the first U.S. civilian in space. This was also the first spaceflight of a spaceplane in aviation history. First flight launched over Smith Dry Lake, N.V. Experiments, towed balloon, horizon scanner, photometer, infrared and ultraviolet. Balloon instrumentation failed. The mission was flown by X-15 No. 3, serial 56-6672 on its 21st flight. Launched by, NB-52B No. 008, pilots Fulton and Bement. Takeoff, 1719. UTC landing, 1904 Coordinated Universal Time. Chase pilots, crews, Dana, Rogers, Daniel and Wood. The X-15 engine burned about 85 seconds. Near the end of the burn, acceleration built up to about 4 grams 39 meters per square second. Weightlessness lasted for 3 to 5 minutes. Re-entry heating warmed the exterior of the X-15 to 650 degrees Celsius in places. During pull-up after re-entry, the acceleration built up to 5 grams 49 meters per square second for 20 seconds. The entire flight lasted about 12 minutes from launch to landing. <laughs> Notes <laughs>